welcome to the Digital Media Commons. This video will introduce some basic procedures for using the Canon XA10. The main feature of the XA10 is its two XLR inputs, which allow us to record high quality audio. This camera is best used in situations that demand high quality video and especially high quality audio recording, such as music performances, lectures, and interviews. Thanks to the 64GB internal memory, the XA10 can also be used to take clips that are up to 17 hours long. Before we begin, we'd like to list off a few precautions to keep in mind while using the camera. Do not apply excessive force to the touchscreen. Aside from the provided stylus, do not use other hard-tipped items to operate the touchscreen. Do not point the camera lens at strong light sources. This can permanently damage the image sensor. Inside your equipment bag, you'll find the XA10 camera with the handle and stylus attached, two battery packs, two SD cards, a camera remote, a power adapter, a USB adapter, stereo video cables, an HDMI cable, and a pair of headphones. Both SD cards should be inside the camera, underneath this cover. Be sure not to open the cover while the camera is recording. To charge the camera, plug the power adapter into the DC in port near the back of the camera. The charging indicator light should blink red to signify the camera is charging. In normal filming mode, there is a battery indicator light in the upper right part of the display, which tells you roughly how much longer the camera can record. Be sure to plan ahead and charge your camera if you know you're going to be filming a lot. It takes over four hours to fully charge the BP819 battery, which can last for up to three and a half hours of recording. Respectively, it will take about two hours to fully charge the BP-808 battery pack, which can last for two hours of recording. The XA10 should come preset with the DMC's recommended settings. Digital zoom should be off, the camera should record to internal memory in relay mode, and the recording mode should be either MXP, FXP, or XP+. You also have the option of shooting in 24, 30, or 60 frames per second. Briefly, we'll show you how to check and change these settings, in case another user has changed them from the defaults. First, make sure the camera is in manual record mode, as most menu settings can't be accessed in auto mode. To get to the menu, press the Funk button, then the Menu button on the screen with the camera stylus. The first selection should be Digital Zoom, and it should be off. The camera comes with 10x optical zoom, so digital zoom shouldn't be necessary. One tab over on the menu, we'll find the menu option for selecting the recording media for movies. This setting should be set to record to internal memory with a relay recording to memory cards A and B. Using relay recording allows you to record for longer without needing to clear the camera's memory. Beneath this setting is the recording mode setting. Using the 64 gigabyte internal memory, along with the two supplied 16 gigabyte SD cards will give you plenty of room for recording video, but the right recording mode can let you maximize total recording time. Recording in MXP will let you shoot for almost 9 hours. Recording in FXP allows for 12 hours of recording, and the camera can shoot for over 17 hours in XP+. Choose whichever setting fits your needs best. Generally, we recommend shooting in auto mode, in this mode, the camera will adjust various settings for you based on the environment. To start recording, press the button on the back right of the camera, near where your thumb would rest. To zoom in and out, you can use the slider near where your index finger would rest, where pressing further to each side causes the camera to zoom in or out faster. To review the clips you've made, press this button on the left side of the device, then click on the clip you'd like to watch. You can also hook up the camera to an HDTV with the included HDMI cable. To transfer clips to your computer, you need to plug the camera into its charger, then connect it to the computer with the provided USB cable. Turn the camera on and press the camera slash play button on the camera. You'll then be asked which memory device you'd like to connect. Connect all of them, then the three memory devices on the camera will show up as three separate drives on your computer. From here, you can load your clips into your favorite video editor to turn your clips into a finished product. Thank you for watching this DMC tutorial video. Enjoy using your equipment.